I have an almost solved Rubik's Cube except for uh, these two pieces. Notice that they're in the right places. You have white, blue, and red, white, blue, and red. So it's in the right place, but it's not properly flipped. And the same is the case over here, whereas the rest of the cube is solved. So how do we fix these two pieces without affecting the rest of the cube logically? So here's how I like to think about it, okay? I'm gonna do this in two steps. In my first step, I'm gonna first try and figure out how do I bring this white piece on top, which means how do I fix this without affecting the rest of the top? That's the key, without affecting the rest of the top, but I'm completely free to screw up the bottom. I'll not worry about the bottom. It's gonna cause some anxiety in the beginning, but as we will see in step two, we'll be able to fix it back. All right, so how do I bring this up without screwing up the top, the rest of the top, but not w without worrying about the bottom as well? So here's how I like to think about it. My first question is, I ask myself, how do I bring the white on top? What is the easiest way to bring the white on top? And my answer is this, just do this. The white came on the top. But hey, there are so many problems. I want the white to come on the top here not here. So, what do I do? Well, here's how I think. Would it be nice if this white was actually here? Because then when I flip this, notice the white comes on the right place. So how do I bring the white over here? Hey, I just have to do this. <laughs> so if I first bring white down, then I can do this and my white gets fixed. Ah, so my basic moveset is here. But can you see the problem with this? The problem is I have screwed up the top. Remember our goal was to do this without screwing the up the top, so I'm gonna go back. All right, so how do I now execute uh, this basic move without screwing up the rest of the top? Well, when I first did this, uh, when I bring the white down, notice these two white pieces came here. I don't want that. I want my white to stay here. And so the question is, how do I bring this down without affecting the white? And my solution is, well, take these two pieces, keep them safe, move them outside of this rotation. And so the way I do that is I first keep them safe. Now they're safe here. Now I'm free to move this down. Bring them back, ta-da! See, I brought the white down without affecting this. Now, the same question. I want to bring this on top, but I don't want to affect these two pieces because I don't want to affect my top. How do I do that? How do I do that? Same strategy. Take these two outside of this rotation, keep them safe. So I'm, I'm going to keep them safe this side, move this to the top, bring this back. And notice I have now fixed this piece and I did not affect the rest of the top. This piece was as is, okay? But I screwed up my bottom. So I've done my first step. Now comes to the, now comes the second magical step, the most important, the mind blowing step. How do I fix the bottom? How do you do that? Here's the answer. Undo everything. If you undo all the moves that I did just now, Clearly, this should fix itself back, right? Because I'm just doing the reverse. But you might say, Mahesh, if you undo everything, this piece that you just fixed, it's going to flip back as well. So we're gonna come back to square one. I don't want that, so what do I do? Hmm, wait a second. I see a problematic piece over here that needs to get flipped. Okay, so, so here's the thing. What will happen if I, before undo, before reversing everything, what if I bring this problematic piece in this position? And now, if I undo, what's going to happen? Pause this video and think about it. This is the climax, folks. What's going to happen? Well, let's see. If I reverse everything, the bottom is going to get fixed, okay? 
this piece on the right corner is going to get flipped because that's what happened uh, when I forwarded the moves. But the rest of the top is unaffected, which means the, f the, the piece that I fixed just now by keeping it here, it's unaffected. It's gonna get stay the same. In other words, this gets fixed, the bottom gets fixed, and I will be done with my cube. Isn't this amazing? Isn't this amazing? Notice it's all my moves. Whatever I'm reversing right now is just reversing my own moves, which I came up with with pure logic. All right, so moment of truth. Let's reverse it. So the key thing is to remember your own moves. So when I was practicing, the, practic practicing this, I used to write down my own moves, but now I remember it. So I remember the, uh, the forward move was I did this and I did this. That was my basic move, right? So I'm not, I'm not I'm, and, and I kept the rest of them safe. So now to reverse it, I'll first bring this down, but before I do that, I have to keep this safe. So I'm gonna keep this safe. This, these two pieces safe, R bring this down. So I'm reversing it, bring it back. Now I'm gonna put this back up. I'm gonna do this, but I want to keep uh, these two safe. So I'm gonna put this back, put this back and bada boom, bada bing. Look at this, the bottom got fixed. <laughs> Looks like magic, but it's not. It's logic because I just reversed all my moves. This got fixed, not magic, logic because I reversed all my moves and the rest of the top did not get affected because that's how my strategy was. And one last move to flip that back and look at it. Solve the entire Rubik's Cube. This is the strategy to solve the entire cube yourself. If you can figure out how to flip a corner, how to flip an edge, how to swap the corners, how to swap the edges without affecting the rest of the top layer. If you can figure those moves out, then you can solve the higher in this method. You fix, you flip them, not worrying about the bottoms, and then you bring some other problematic piece in that position and undo it. You keep doing that, you'll be able to solve the entire cube all by yourself. So all you need to learn is how to be the master of one layer, how to manipulate one layer, the pieces of one layer without affecting the top. If you can do that, you'll master the entire cube. Isn't this amazing?